Hi, my name is Troy Anderson. I'm the owner of Anderson Training Systems. It's a fitness coaching business located in Tempe, Arizona. I'm going to share with you today is a workout series from our kettlebell meltdown training system. And this is day three of the kettlebell complexes day. Um, we're going to look at a big primary movement and then three ancillary or supporting movements that come up right after it. And this, on day three, we're going to look at the cleaning movements and the complexes associated around those. And so what we're going to look at is the clean catch. Hold on, just let it run. I'm going to come back to it. What we're going to look at is the two hand clean and catch and then the one hand clean and squat. And so here's what it's going to go ahead and look at. And again, the sequencing is just to help. Usually the first drill is going to be done for a few more repetitions. The second drill is going to be a little more technical, done for less repetition, but the first drill is all going to feed into the movement patterns needed by the second drill. So let's look at the two-hand clean catch. This is a simple two-hand movement. It's much like a two-handed high pull, except we're going to actually catch it what would be in the goblet or horn position right in front of our body. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Everything, again, is being accelerated from our legs. Although it looks like our arms may be doing work, they're guiding and catching the flow of the movement, not necessarily producing the movement or producing the power of the movement. So here, let's take a look at this. Good position, very similar to what you would be in for a deadlift. Accelerate up and into the body and catch. Come back down, come back down. Good posture, again, can't reiterate that enough. Weight on heels, accelerate up. Caught it in a good top position. We can do many things from this, but this is all we're getting to today. Come back over with the hands and back down. If you need to release, if you're not really comfortable with that quick or of sequencing of movement, that's fine. Come back, reset. Again, one more repetition for you to look at. Good tall chest posture, weight on heels, hamstrings and, and glutes loaded up. Ready to spring into action. And there we go. So that's the clean and catch portion. Now we're going to move into the one hand clean, which is again a little more technically demanding, and squat. So. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the one hand clean. Very similar in the fact that we're guiding it up in close into our body, again driving the movement from our hips and, and, the, and the power power joint there. And we're going to catch and then we're going to move into a one arm squat or one sided squat so to speak in the rack position. Many, one thing many people do when they want to clean the kettlebell or first start to learn how to clean the kettlebell is they pull with their back or yank too hard with their arm and they pull the kettlebell too high. This is a very short movement. The kettlebell is going to come somewhere around knee level and it's only going to come to here. So this is just a little bit of snap. This is more of a movement about coordination and actually producing raw power. The, the, the amount of power and amount of effort needed to produce this movement is, is much less to the degree than what it, the technical skill to get into it. So we're going to guide the bell up and into us. What we're going to do is just move our arm around and catch the bell nice and tightly in what we've looked at before the rack position, which is where the upper arm, forearm is nice and vertical. You have a firm grip, arm braced into the side. So let's take a look at a few repetitions and look at a few of the teaching points. So again, here, reach back, nice and tight into the body. We don't want to, this is where many of us will get, that kettlebell is landing on us, hitting us in the shoulder, hitting us in the upper arm. We really, eventually will bruise you pretty, pretty good. So you want to be here, it's all about sequencing and moving the body around the kettlebell in order to land nice and softly on it. So let's look at a few more repetitions. Again, the motion is just like the clean catch, we're guiding it up into the body. Obviously, with the unilateral component, it makes it a little more complex. And then locking the glutes, hamstrings underneath, catching it nice and firm. You can see in the rack position. Let's look at a couple front arm angles. Reaching back. You can see I'm not getting any thudding or hard landings on the body. Just snapping the hips through. Guiding it up, guide the arm around the bell. Pretty simple stuff. You know, as you get more proficient at it, that's all you really need to really concentrate on. Guide it in close to the body. If we guide it away from us, if we let that kettlebell get out away from us, you're going to get 
something like that. It's not going to feel very good. So really, even if you're just learning, concentrate on pulling the kettlebell into you, and then the more difficult or the more demanding movement pattern is to get the arm around the belt. It's very, very uncommon for most of us that have been doing traditional lifting. From there, the squat is pretty simple. So I'm going to go ahead and go into clean, clean the squat right away, and I'll talk the squat where we're going. So clean, moving the squat, weight on heels, moving hips back behind us, pushing knees wide, create space. Really, really strong demand on the body because the kettlebell's on the front and I'm bracing myself here because it's going to want to pull me forward. Down into a good squat, back up. Good squat, back up. Good squat, back up. So the sequence looks something like this. Clean, squat. Clean, squat. Clean, it's a little bit of a hard clean because I'm getting a little tired. And squat. If you'd like to do all your repetitions on one hand and then the other, that's fine. Or you can alternate however, whatever works out best for you.